Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Sinister. Sorry for the hazards being on. I got my hazards on. I'm on the shoulder on I-65 northbound, Indiana. Got a load I got to deliver Monday. And I'm coming up 65. Everything's been fine today. Everything's been fine today. I've been rolling. And... I'm up here by mile marker 117. And all suddenly, like, I started having air pressure. I started hearing air leaking from my air now in the track. So I'm watching my gauge, but no air, I'm, I'm not losing no air. So, I'm like, all right, you know, I've been riding the day, no problems. So I got way up here and a car came by me on my passenger side and he had his hand out the window like, yo, doing this. So I'm like, you know, I'm looking in my mirrors cause I'm looking at my tires and I was in the right lane and it looked like it rained up here maybe earlier. So it looked like so I was going through puddles, so it was missing. So I'm thinking, that's what it is. So I'm like, okay, I pass the overpass. I see a big shoulder I can sit on. So I said, let me get on the shoulder, see what's going on, see why he's doing that. And then another car on the driver, on my driver's side right here, they driving slow and they pointing. So I'm like, all right, let me get over. So I get over, I get on the shoulder pop the brakes, get out. My drive tires, the front, the front drive tires, the ones closer to the sleeper, the inner tire, is smoking on both sides of the truck. So, I'm like, oh man, I mean, they smoking. So, boom, I just grabbed bottles, you know, I quickly grabbed some bottles of water just to you know, throw my gloves on, I have my hoodie on and stuff like that, and I'm just throwing the water in there, because I'm like, yo, that's the last thing I need is, you know, they really being that hot, and then, you know, fire catch. So, you know, I'm grabbing cases, so you should see how much water, I, empty water bottles I got sitting on the floor in my truck right now. But anyway, I stopped in time, they smoked, I mean, they were smoking. But I got it pulled over just in time to prevent a fire from happening. So, I went through a whole case of, a whole case of bottles of water. I had just, you know, thrown the water in there and try to cool them off as much as I can. And unfortunately, they was heated. They got heated so much. Now my brakes is stuck. So the back tires, the back drive axle tires turn, but the front, the front row of the drives don't turn. So I'm like, oh man, come on. So remember, I just had two brake chambers replaced. So, like, maybe if I don't say nothing, you could probably just hear the hiss. Look. I don't know if you can hear that, but... Um, I'm 12 miles away from the TA in Whitestown, so I called them. They're like, they're not going to be able to get to me until five hours. And it's going to take them five hours to get to me. There's a TA 15 miles further up that the girl called. They not going to be able to get to me until three hours. So I was like, all right, let's take that. Because once the guy come out and he can probably get under there, get the brakes loose or whatever he can do, I got to go to Whitestown because now I'm going back in the shop because now I got to find out what's the problem. I don't see no airlines disconnected. Somewhere 
under there, I'm losing air. So I threw some water. I looked at the lines. I threw some water on the lines to see if I could see bubbles. But either the brake chambers is bad. There's a hole in the airline somewhere. So I don't know. So uh, all I could do is sit here on the shoulder and just wait. And back in the shop, y'all. Back in the shop. So what can I tell y'all? <laughs> what can I tell y'all? I know y'all like, yo, shit, did you just come out the shop? Like, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. I just came out the shop. Hold on, why is this keep trying to refocus? Hold on. So, I just came out the shop. As y'all know, I had that $3,800 shop bill. Then I was behind on the settlement last week. So that bumped me up close to five thousand almost. Now I gotta go back in the shop. Cause now I might have to get the airlines that go to the brake chambers replaced. So I'm like, I ain't worrying about it. I ain't even gonna worry about it. You know what? I ain't even gonna worry about it. I'm not. I'm not gonna sit here, I'm not gonna be like, damn, nope. You know what, it's trucking, it happens. This is what comes with you wanting to have a truck. That's what it is. This is, this is the side of the game that y'all need to know. I ain't even gonna be mad about it. Nah, not at all, you know why? Cause what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pick up all these empty water bottles, I'm gonna put them in a the plastic bag, I'm going to see you kick my sneakers off. They not, the tires is not smoking. Well, the brakes is not smoking. So I ain't got no fire situation going on. I'm, I'm over enough on the shoulder. I got the PlayStation and the John Madden. I can either do that or I could go in the sleeper, make me a bowl of Frosted Flakes, jump on YouTube and watch me some YouTube or I can sit, go in Amazon Kindle, do some research, and read, well, Amazon Kindle and do some research. Go in Amazon Kindle and finish reading my stock investment book and sit back. I got, I got a whole thing of green tea in the refrigerator. Yo, I ain't worried about it. I ain't even gonna let it bother me. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I have refused to sit here and be odd. You know what I mean? I refuse. You feel me, family? I refuse to sit here and allow myself to be aggravated and frustrated. Like, no, I'm not going to allow it to, I'm not going to allow my mind to play tricks on me. Nope. It's trucking. It's trucking. You want to play this game? You want to get into lease purchase, you want to have a truck, this is what comes with it. This is what comes with it. A cost to be the boss. This is why I'm making all of those repairs. This is why I'm changing all the stuff. Because like I told you, this is a 2012. I don't know what everybody else did to this truck. So to my standards, for sinister standards, I'm getting everything. I'm, I'm whatever I can fix, I'm gonna fix. That's it. And like I told y'all in my last video, you know what this is teaching me? What to look for in in the next truck I get. Maintenance records. What's been done? You know what I mean? Now I'm not gonna sit here and be mad about it. I'm not. I refuse. I refuse to allow myself to sit here and get into a negative mindset like, oh, this, damn, I just came out the shop. Oh, more money. I got to spend. Yo, it happens. So for all of y'all that's looking to get
get into this part of the game, hey, I'm telling you the real. I'm telling you the real. I'm giving you the numbers. Yeah, I can sit here and tell you, oh, I made this. I made that. I made this. Yeah, I can gloat about all the big checks that I got. But no, I'm not going to do that. Let somebody else do that. I want to prepare y'all for this. This right here. This right here. Yeah, this right here is what y'all need to know. I just came out the shop. Now I'm going back in the shop. Then once I get to the TA, I'm going to go in the shop. Then I got to find out what was wrong with it, what caused it, how much it's going to cost. And of course, you know, your boy sinister got to bring you the numbers. You know what I mean? Bring you the numbers. So, charge it to the game again. So, I got to pay for the roadside service to come. Get under there to help me try to get the brakes released. And get to the TA. Go in there and get in the shop. And sit around and wait till they get me in the shop. Now, I'm out of the hole on my southern side. It ain't take two weeks. It only took a week to get out of the hole. Now, I just did two trips this week. So next week, the, the settlement coming up for next weekend, for, for the next paycheck, is going to be short. Because I only got two trips in because I had to do a reset. I didn't want to, but I had to because I had some business receipts. I had to catch up on to get to my accountants. So, uh... Can I tell y'all? Welcome to the wonderful world of being an owner operator, huh? So, it is what it is, man. I'll drop the next video soon. I gotta grab this call. Peace out.